US pop star Lady Gaga opens a pyrotechnic display in a 15,000 seat arena. Afterwards, fire breathers and dancing girls entertain party goers around the swimming pool. Welcome to Casino Resorts Vegas style in the Chinese territory of Macau. This is Las Vegas Sands Venetian Macau, radically different to the casinos run by local billionaire Stanley Ho, whose four decade monopoly on the market ended five years ago. Stanley Ho opened his birdcage shaped Lisboa Hotel in 1972. It became one of the most famous landmarks in Macau and it served three main purposes. You can eat, you can drink, and you can gamble. The thing is, Ho's no frills policy has worked. He has the biggest share of Macau's gaming market, more than 23%. was able to show the Americans that, you know, that uh, Stanley Ho can still live on and, 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 and uh, can still do very, very well. Nearest rival, Las Vegas Sands, came close to bankruptcy during the financial crisis, forcing it to halt construction. Vegas moguls Steve Wynn and Kirk Kikorian's MGM Mirage have less than 15% market share each. Stanley Ho hasn't ignored his rivals. He built the giant lotus-shaped Grand Lisboa opposite his old hotel. Still, that has no designer shopping malls, conventions or shows. So you've got two different strategies there. It's just that you, know, you had a, um, a massive global downturn, so that new segment really hasn't emerged at the rate that the new market entrants really wanted. But the, the incumbent is still doing very, very well. One statistic helps explain Stanley Ho's success. The average visitor stay in Las Vegas is three nights. In Macau, it's just over one. Some even sleep in massage parlors to save money for the gaming halls, meaning a $100 ticket for Lady Gaga is a luxury many of Macau's visitors won't entertain. Paul Gordon, Bloomberg News, Macau.